In this video, I'm going to show how to create a digital filter uh, using uh, MATLAB. Uh, the source is just type in FDA tool, and you can get this little nice graphic user interface. Uh, this is makes it a little easier to understand with this picture. Up here is just a simple low pass filter design. This is the ripple for the pass band. Down here is a ripple for the stop band. Then in between here, you have your transition band. And you can go in between different values to, for different coefficients, for a number of coefficients you have for this. So you can make this bigger, make this up smaller attenuation, make it a bigger stop band or transition band to get this. And just design this real quick. And FS is a sample frequency. This is right here is for the pass band frequency. This is the beginning of the stop band frequency. This is the ripple. You got one dB of ripple and attenuate down to 80 dB. And it's just using an FIR filter with equal ripple in design. And this shows what it looks like. So you got a little bit of ripple up here down to the transition band more ripple over here and this is uh, fs over two and see by this you have a 50 coefficients or it's an order 50 sorry just make this a little bit bigger and you can see you can get that down by changing these You brought it down even more. So if you're limited on how fast you can uh, do a multiplication accumulate to in your digital processor, you might need to lower this down and get a less desirable uh, filter. Shows different things you can do with that. And this is kind of the high pass filter design. Band pass goes up here. Band stop, you want it, or notch filter, do that. And I created, this is fine if you want to do a, go to this and export. And you can export it to your workspace, whatever you type there. But let me go, this only works really well if you can have a, a floating point calculations, but not so much if you're gonna use fixed point. Let's go back to my MATLAB. And I created a little script that works pretty well for fixed point. Start off with uh, my sample frequency and half of that. And this is my pass band ripple and dB, stop band down nine dB. This is just some basic things to make it easier to do the design. This is where I want the frequency at. 320 is just a low pass filter. Then you design the low pass filter, have some other ones for different filters. And you design it, just the equal ripple, then fixed point. Then you can specify the, how big your accumulator is and input and fractions. Works out pretty good. Any type of saturation. And this is a nice thing I found on a MATLAB's website, just on some calculations to see how well your filter will work. And FV tool to see what the filter looks like. And this is the output and shows some statistics about that, what your overflow would be like. Works out pretty good. Let me show what that filter turned out to be. And that's what the filter looks like. There's your 9 dB, it's a little lower than that. And you got these, and you got a little bit of ripple up there, your transition band, and that's it. Thanks for watching.